puffers and parkas are on its way out so there's a light at the end of the tunnel we're gonna escape the colds longer days are coming back and it's time to prep for it these are my recs on the best jackets for spring First up is a functional jacket. These are massively underrated. I mean, everyone on TikTok is hopping in their shower with the Arc'teryx shell, so I guess some people are more into it. But still, don't skip out on these. So let's just say it's colder in the morning and the evenings, it gets hotter during the day, typical spring day. Keep an eye out for pieces like this. Simply take off your jacket and sling it around you and wear it like a backpack or a messenger bag. This provides a ton of convenience instead of carrying it on your sweaty forearm everywhere you go, and it doubles up as a sling, which adds more visual detail to your fit this is a bit more exclusive to the techwear community but you don't have to exclusively be into techwear to rock these kind of pieces places i recommend are rosen x rain delusion and nike and these are just a much better alternative to the arcteric shell jacket in my opinion but also yes a waterproof or a water repellent jacket is a must for those upcoming april showers you want to prep for that and it's especially nice if you commute around the city on a bike or a scooter like me and another form of functionality are pieces that are fully adjustable and what i mean is that you can wear the same piece in multiple different ways that way you can get your money's worth so like this jacket right here it can be worn zipped unzipped half zipped or the sleeves can be removed for a completely different look there's a lot of options out there if you know where to look next up is a piece that you can get for free or on the low the denim jacket so currently i'm in this mindset that modern denim jackets they suck. They never really reach their full potential of natural wear. Basically, every denim jacket looks the same. They have that same modern look to it. Slim, probably has stretch, looks a little something like this. And that's cool. I like the way it looks, but I know it's not as good as free. So check me out. This denim jacket came from my dad. I've talked about it a lot already, but it's over 30 years old. And just take a look at the natural wear and even the shape of it. If it were made new, they would have to hand distress the piece, which will cost you more money and is already available to you right now right at home for free ask your parents your grandparents your uncles any relative that you have and most likely they're gonna have a denim jacket or any jacket for that matter that comes from their time not to make them sound old or anything but most of the time they don't really wear it and i'm sure they would gladly pass that piece along to you like a watch which by the way why don't we do that more often we seem to pass along watches cars knives and all that but not clothes anyways just make sure you take them out to dinner you freeloader thrifting is always an option as well you can get some pieces for very very cheap and i know that it's been widely accepted and even cool if you thrift even though i was bullied for it as a kid this one right here was from my girlfriend's grandpa who passed it along to her and of course both of these jackets are unisex we both wear it we both look good in it no money spent everyone wins now our next jacket is the classic the leather jacket this is also something that you can get from a relative but i do think it's something worth paying for as well i mean it's a classic for a reason it looks really good of course there are many unique designs i know the black moto jacket's a little bit played out so if you like that shape i definitely recommend and going for a different color different shade kind of like this one here from the jacket maker who are the sponsors of today's video and yes i still really love the classic moto jacket design and talk about a really sick piece that is yes affordable most leather jackets of this design are a thousand plus and cheap versions of this design are Meh. I mean, that's why I don't wear this one that much and I'm giving it away to a friend. This, on the other hand, feels incredibly premium. It's got that nice patina to it and will only look better over time. And it looks very nice on me. The jacket maker has been featured in a ton of well-known articles, GQ, Forbes, and all that. And they have a selection for anyone and everyone, depending on your taste, all at an affordable price. And what I love about the jacket maker and why I'm doing a partnership with them is you can totally customize your jacket to your liking and sizing, which is a big deal. And why this jacket looks so good on me. All you have to do is click that link in the description, check out the jacket maker browse around because you're definitely going to find something that you like it's going to help out my channel a ton i really appreciate it thank you jacket maker for sponsoring this video and for those of you about to ask this one right here is the noah biker jacket in the brown colorway of course they do have black as well but i recommend trying a slightly different color palette and i also recommend wearing it in something other than the traditional look of slim pants and chelsea style boots come on now try something different i mean we get it you're a bad boy but bad boys don't have to be robots so here i'm styling it with some military cargo pants and some converse versus with the beanie simple enough of course i will wear it with that slim look that's a timeless fit but pushing the boundaries of what you're comfortable with is what matures your style not wearing mature clothes and footwear
Up next is the track jacket, a beautiful sportswear piece. It's cozy, simple, and comes in a variety of options. These are just an alternative to the bomber jackets because they do kind of have a similar design. Bombers would be on this list, but everybody knows about bomber jackets already. Of course, it's a great spring jacket, but I'm not going to talk about it. So yeah, these pieces are just cool to see, very casual, athletic-esque. It's been my vibe lately, especially dropping that kind of coin on the, the Nike acronym jacket. So I'm making this video to make myself feel better about that purchase. Anyways, let's talk about that Nike acronym collaboration. This jacket has the benefits of being functional as well as a versatile piece that can be worn in athleisure, tech wear, or street wear. It's got a ton of options just like a normal bomber jacket, but it has a unique flair to it. Water repellent, escape zip, a sling, so much functionality. Now this other track jacket is from Alpha Industries in the women's section. This is my girlfriend's, but we can both wear it. 3M reflective, light and breathable, perfect for the spring. Some recommendations on brands are of course those I had talked about. Nike alpha industries but adidas of course this one right here is the adidas provisional rain jacket a modern sleek track jacket shape that's what you want to look for i mean the uniform track jacket is cool and all it's just not my favorite but that's up to you now this next jacket can be a part of functional jackets but it deserves its own section double zips i do not know why this is not the standard one you get a lot more breathability when it does get hot it also changes the look of the jacket which means you can wear it multiple ways zipped unzipped or half zipped two it also helps with this Yes, I know y'all know what I'm talking about. It's annoying. Please petition for this to be on every jacket. And three, it helps with layering. You can get creative with it, which means more options, more bang for your buck. Anyways, we have the overcoats as our next jacket. I made a whole video about this. It's just later in the list because it will get warm or it's already warm where you live. But yeah, I love the extended length. It just does so much for an outfit. For the springtime, just make sure it's very light and breathable. I always recommend the uniform U jackets, which are much lighter. And sometimes they do come with water repellency. And last but not least, technically, aren't jackets per se, but I still consider them. Overshirts, aka shirt jackets. So just think of any jacket. There will always be a light version of that. Denim jackets, you got the denim shirts. Flannel jackets, you have the flannel shirts. Shell jackets, you have these soft shell overshirts. You guys know what I'm talking about. These are actually just my favorite thing right now. Because of the minimal design and how easy it is to wear, if it gets warm, all you really have to do is roll your sleeve up because it's already light. So that usually does a trick. Y'all have seen me in this navy Uniqlo U shirt jackets. I wear it all the time. I've definitely gotten my money's worth. This one right here is the Asian and wool blend shirt jackets. I've worn this a ton. This extended overshirt from Y3 is the lighter version of a coat. It has double zips. It's breathable, made out of ripstop fabric. And it's just a dope piece that blends into spring perfectly. But yeah, if you're gonna go for these type of pieces, just make sure it's a minimal looking one, unless it's a flannel or a pattern, of course. You'll get more of your money's worth because statement pieces, while they're very fun to wear and have in your wardrobe, a lot of times you can't wear it as much. And those are my recs. I know I missed out on a lot, but uh, it's my video. And you can leave your suggestions down below. Like, subscribe, follow my socials, and until then, stay fly, deuces.